All right, I'm getting a very uncharacteristically late start today. I'm normally the first guy at the boat launch. I truly believe the early bird gets the worm. But I had an absolutely miserable night last night. We've got, I don't know, like 14 smoke alarms in my house. And one of them kept going off and I couldn't figure out which one it was. It went off all night intermittently. Every time I'd go to sleep, it would go off again. Just a miserable night. So finally at 3 a.m., I turned off my alarm and said the heck with it. I'm just going to sleep. Whenever I wake up, I wake up. Woke up at 6. Made a long drive down here into the heart of the marshes of Plaquemines Parish. One of my absolute favorite areas to fish, to go exploring and see what I can find. Particularly this time of year when those speckled trout get thick in these marshes. Man, I just love it. Sun's kind of high. It's about, I don't know, 8.30, 8.45 right now. Got a light northeasterly breeze. Falling tide. Water is okay. It's about a 4 out of 10. But I'm super excited about being fishing today. Let's see what happens. Let me give you a peek at that water. Hopefully you can see that. It's got a definite stain to it. It does have some clarity though. It's not terrible. I'm going to start this morning with a an H, H TKO shrimp under a new prototype Versamax Pro Series. I think they're going to call it the Pro Series Plus. I'm not even sure this cork is available yet, but it's a lot louder than the previous bolts and Pro Series bolts. Kind of put it through its paces today, although I don't like my leader being this short. So I'm going to lengthen it a little bit. It's the beauty of the bolt. Get to adjust your leader length. I'm going to be doing a lot of deep water fishing today, looking for specks. But right now I'm kind of at the mouth of a bayou and I want to check this for fish that are up shallow. Oh, oh, fish on. Fish on already. Is that a trout? Yes, it is a trout. It sure is. First cast. You got to hurry up and spot lock us. All right, good fish too. Spot lock. First fish on the, man, look at it, it's all mangled up. On the Pro Series, Pro Series Plus. I think that's what they're gonna call it. I'm not positive though. Whew, nice speckled trout, I will take it. He had that bait deep. TKO shrimp and red ice color, love that bait. Trout number one. Let's see if we will be victims of the first cast curse. All right, I made a bunch of casts. The first cast curse is in effect, clearly. Couldn't get another bite, so I'm gonna throw an assortment of baits. As I work my way through this little section of marsh here, the tide is just screaming through here, which I definitely like. I'm fine with that. All right, time to check this deep water bite. I'm gonna throw this Limbo Slice Matrix Shad on a 3 8 ounce death grip jig head. I just like the contrast of this Limbo Slice and that chartreuse I think gets noticed in that deeper water. I've kind of stumbled on this little intersection here. It's got uh, about eight feet of water. I haven't looked at my depth finder, but just from casting, that's what it feels like. Tide's flying out of here and coming back this way. Ooh, there's a bite right under the boat. Oh, look at that, he left me a scale. I might be right on top of these fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. Definitely, definitely a red or a fouled hook trout. Oh, fouled hook catfish. <laughs> oh, came off. Left me nothing but the slime. Look at that. <laughs> the foul hook blue cat. That is a glob of catfish snot. I wouldn't have minded having him. He would have been delicious to eat. 
tough to land them when you don't hook them in the mouth. There's one. Oh, trout, trout. Maybe, maybe a keeper. Maybe a keeper. Let's put him on the tape and see. Oh yeah, 12 and a quarter. A little bit of room to spare. There he is. What are you, a trout? Yep, foul hooked. That is a gorilla. That's a gorilla. That's why you come deep into the marsh in the month of April. See you, brah. Ooh. That must be a red. Or a foul hooked trout. Redfish, got the glimpse. All right, mixed bag today, all right. Definite keeper too, it's about a, say about an 18 inch fish. Really kind of white in this deeper water. It's really got a little stain to it. Awesome. Let's measure him, just make sure. Yeah, he's 17 and a half. This is just such a pretty spot. I figured there had to be a few fish here. Oh, there's one. He's coming up. Oh, I don't know. What are you, a red? I don't know what you are. Yeah, I think you're a red. I think you are a red. All right, another keeper. Look at that, about the same size, same mold. Must be his brother. Nothing wrong with that. Love it. Targeting trout. Who cares? I'll take some reds. Ooh, oh, I missed you. I miss you so much. Much bigger scale. That was a better fish. Lots of hitting and spitting going on today. Not sure why. Got to be quicker on the draw. Probably from a lack of sleep. I love these little marsh gems like this. And of course they're everywhere. You just got to find them. Generally places like this are not real substantial. They don't hold giant schools of fish. But you come in and you know catch five or six, maybe eight or ten, and then move on. Look for another one. This is what makes fishing fun to me. Oh, that was a smoke. That's a trout. That's a nice trout. All right, all right. About a 14 inch fish. Add him to the collection? No doubt. These fish seem to be dead on the bottom, which is typical. All I'm doing is casting out, letting it fall, picking it up, and putting it down. Having to fish a little bit faster because I am fishing with that current. So I gotta try and maintain contact with my lure so I can set the hook. Ooh, there he is. Oh, shoot. They are definitely not committing well today. They're biting, but man, they're, they're spitting it almost instantly. I've lost a number of fish. Had a couple of foul hook fish. Definitely gotta be quick on the draw. That's when those medium heavy rods and that braided line to me is just so important. So much of your hook set energy is absorbed 
by the elasticity of, of mono and even fluoro that it's a delayed reaction down at the bait and those fish have more time to spit it before you can embed that hook. Of course, some days it doesn't matter. They're just tagging the bait. You can do anything you want and you're still gonna catch them. You don't even have to set the hook. This is obviously not one of those days. All right, it appears these fish don't love us anymore. Time to make a little move and go find something else. Too much area to fish to stay on dead action. All right, I made a little move and found some water that I like better than what we left. Actually, I like it a lot better than what we left. Let's see if you can see that. Super pretty. Lots of grass in here. I think we're getting pretty late in this falling tide. It's definitely slowed down, so I'm still moving, but it's not quite as inspired as it was. So we'll see if we can catch a few fish in here. This is a kind of winding deep bayou. It's got about eight to 10 feet in these bends and five to six in the straightaways. Let's see if there are any fish in here. Sticking with the Limbo Slice Matrix Shad on the 3 8 ounce Death Grip. Good Lord, look at that gator. That's a monster. Saw me coming and got into the water where he knows he's safer. You're not gonna mess with you, dude. Trust me. Another gator here and another gator down there. It's a veritable gator festival. There he is. What is that? He's fighting weird. Oh, a trout. It's a nice trout. Really nice trout. He took off for the depths. What's up, big guy? Beautiful fish. All right, I'm going to welcome you to the team. Thanks, buddy. This marsh back here is just so beautiful. It's incredible. This is my kind of fishing. This is just what I like. Getting back here, getting lost, no other boats around, just dissecting this marsh and figuring it out, trying to find productive areas. Just love it. It's loaded with red winged blackbirds. Seen migrating teal today, heading back north. Lots of Mexican squealers, black bellies, fulvous tree ducks, whatever you want to call them. When's the steak going to open a season on those, by the way? It's amazing how many come to Louisiana now. Oh, there we go. That's a nice trout. All right. Good fish. Good fish. So what I did on that one is I kind of picked up my pace a little bit. I've gotten a number of bites from fish that have, I mean, spit it as soon as they hit it. I think because this water in here is so pretty, these fish are getting a really good look at the bait and they're just not as committed. So if you pick up your pace, you kind of get those reaction strikes before the fish has even a chance. Oh, there's another one. Has even a chance to think about it. The problem with picking up the pace, you still got to make sure you get down to the bottom. And you can see how this grass has really responded to what has been some favorable conditions this spring. Hurricane Zeta back in October just annihilated the grass in this whole area. Really threw a whole lot of Plaquemines Parish into St. Bernard, Jefferson Parish, Terrebonne Parish, but it's all really coming back, coming back really well. And I love the grass. I mean, you see these patches here, you can see it all matted up ahead. The grass does so much good, provides cover for bait, cover for fry, it filters the water, and you get those big blows. You can still come into areas with a lot of grass and find clean water and catch fish. Sometimes it's frustrating because it's sometimes a little bit challenging to fish around, but you gotta take the bad with the good. I love the grass. Always catch fish around grass. That's a fish. Oh, good night. Sorry, dude. Sorry to interrupt your day. Oh, right in the gill, man. I hope you don't die. No, doesn't look too bad. Believe it or not, a fish that size will be legal by the end of summer. That's how quickly they grow. It's 
probably a fish that was spawned late in the season last year, July, August, somewhere like that. Just didn't have a long time to grow before the winter set in and they all stopped growing. There's another gator coming to make friends. Just hoping we'll fall in. This dude's looking for some cheese puffs or something. Some marshmallows. There's a fish. That's a good trout. Might be a bass. Looking bassy. Let's see, let's see. What are you, what are you? Nope, trout. Speck of trout! All right. Keep her trout. I'll take it. There's a fish. What are you? Feel a little weird. Like a small fish that's file hooked. No, it's actually a decent trout that's hooked in the mouth. All right. Oof. Lucky to get you, bruh. Good eater, perfect eater. Oh goodness, that was awesome. I don't know if that came out on camera. I doubt it did. That trout came up and smoked me right up at the top. Such a ferocious fish. That's why I love speckled trout. This water temp is only 65. It's surprising that these fish want this bait fish this quickly. I'm just giving it significant hops and let it fall. And that's when they're smoking it. Oh, there's another one. They're definitely wanting that fast hop today. Whew. Yummy. There's a fish. There's a fish. Look at that guy going crazy. He hit me so close to the boat. I can't believe he hasn't gotten off. It's because he had all the leverage. Come on, dude. You must have gotten it deep. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. So much fun. All right, this has been an absolutely fantastic day here in the marshes of Plaquemines Parish. This is why I do what I do. I just, I can't ever get enough of this. It's just good for the soul. But I kind of wanted to talk about a change <laughs> that's kind of been on my mind for, I don't know, a few months. And I'm going to take some action about it. I've killed an absolute ton of fish over the course of my career and not one has died in vain. I take fish home because I love to cook and I love to eat them. When I go out to fine dining restaurants, even with as much fish as I eat, I get fish. That's how much I like it and that'll never change and I will always keep some fish. But the older I get, the less I want to kill fish and I've just begun to think how I've seen it is for me to bring back 25 fish per person when I go fishing. Now all the fish that I harvest go to good use. I clean them all. I distribute them to friends and family. I give them to a lot of people who don't ever get fish who are extremely grateful. But I just don't want to kill that many fish. So I'm imposing on this boat a 10 fish limit per angler on speckled trout and I'm going to be pretty rigid with it. I might allow myself an exception if I'm having a big family fish fry or something like that. But today I quickly reached my 10 fish limit and then I played some catch and release. Let those fish get back in the water for somebody else to catch. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the state should impose a 10 fish limit just because that's what I feel I want to do. I want the biologists to make biological decisions based on science. And when they determine the limits need to be lowered, have at it. But for me, on my boat, 10 speckled trout per angler per day still plenty you'll have a great meal with those fish and believe me i don't feel any worse today because i let a bunch of speckled trout go all right well hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the marshman mass on channel on youtube 
And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in this beautiful marsh, we'll see you right here on Marsh Man Masson. You know, Plaquemines Parish is known for their food as much as their fishing, but sometimes you're in a hurry and you just want to get home. When that's the case for me, I call ahead to Rotolo's Pizzeria up here in Belchase and get a pizza for the road. And that's what I've done today. All right, I just pulled up to Rotolo's. My pizza should be ready by now. I'll be back in a flash. All right, there it is. Boy, does it smell good too. Woo, it's a beautiful thing. I will feast on the way home. But I tell you this, only a fool would take a bite now because that thing will sizzle the roof of my mouth.